okay how many of you have experienced that uh, with the passage of time your computer slows down you're trying to open some folder on your computer and it's taking ages to open or maybe you're using some program and that takes so much time to load and you start blaming your computer that oh god your computer is all or maybe you have got the virus and you start doing uh, you start cleaning your computer and you start installing antiviruses but the real reason could be something else i don't say that it's not the virus it could be but they can also be in other possibilities and one of those possibility is because your disk the hard disk of the computer has been fragmented and to overcome this problem we have the solution and the solution is defragmentation so let's discuss what is this defragmentation and uh, how it affects the speed of the computer and how you can overcome this problem okay so defragmentation first let's and what's the meaning of the word defragmentation fragmentation you know fragmented fragments are basically the parts or pieces fine so the word defragmentation is the just the opposite of a uh, fragment that is fragmentation okay that is consolidating uh, those pieces fine uh, okay defragmentation uh, it's the process of combining all those pieces fine so if it is disk defragmentation it is uh, going to combine uh, the pieces on the disk now what's the meaning of this term okay let's understand how your hard disk work and how the things are uh, i mean how the data is stored on your hard disk okay when you get a new laptop fine you you just brought a new laptop the first thing that you load is you have your operating system right first you load your uh, operating system then you start loading uh, some files maybe you start installing some documents or uh, um, yeah you start what's wrong with it okay so after that uh, first thing that you load is your operating system then you start loading your um, files and folders you start installing programs and step by step the hard the, uh, the disk it starts filling up maybe you load some fine step by step so you will see a picture like this on your computer up with the passage of time uh where is it okay yeah uh this is just a diagram to demonstrate how your hard disk how the things are stored in, on your hard disk with the red color represent that you have some fragmented files and blue is all continuous files and uh, white is the free space fine okay this is just a snapshot uh, which was taken in windows xp uh fine okay in this case you can see one file uh your files are fragmented and uh, your let me show you a report and it says that let's say this one file 1.120 mb file it is fragmented into 5036 pieces now what will be the problem with this if your sense how, how the windows file system works it because it works in the cluster clusters is a uh, fixed size memory so whole hard disk is divided into clusters whenever a bit of an uh, operating system finds a cluster big enough to store the data it will store the data in that cluster and uh, uh, for example let's say okay this these are some free clusters fine okay so this one is free oops sorry so a little let me put the color for this yeah this red color represents that this is a free cluster fine let's say uh, these clusters are of the size of let's say this is be 10 mb um then is okay this is of 10 mb the next one is of let's say 30 MB another one is of 50 MB and the last one is of just a uh, 
small snapshot fine just for the sake of example okay now let's say your computer has to you want to store some file and uh, which is of uh, let's say 60 mb fine so how the things will work there's no uh, okay uh, 120 mb okay 120 mb now there's no one cluster where i can store a 120 mb file so how the computer will work it can save 80 mb from here fine so 80 mb will be uh, occupied by this okay 80 mb this or how much we need extra 40 MB so as you can see this 10 MB is still remaining this is free and this is this is what is fragmentation uh, this chunk of 10 MB can can will be used by another uh, can be used by another program so your file is broken into so many other fragments and uh, coming back to the document yeah okay so your one file is fragmented into multiple pieces now what will be the issue with this see if let's say you are going to access that one file which is broken into 5000 pieces that means your hard disk uh, the head read write head on the hard disk has to move to 5000 different locations to access a single file and of course your hard disk is it has movable parts mechanical parts and if they have to move they will take time and when they will take time they there will be so much more access time required and the speed of your computer will decrease so the issue with fragmentation is your access speed will decrease with fragmentation fine so the access speed will decrease of course your computer will slow down and uh, uh, this is the reason that you should defragment your computer and especially if you are using windows now you understood the term defragmentation defragmentation oh okay fragmentation sorry so defragmentation what will be the meaning of the word defragmentation now we have the pieces so we are going to combine all these pieces if one file is created on different 100 locations that will be uh, uh, all 100 pieces will be combined and the file will be placed as a contiguous location and all free spaces that will be combined together so the next time you are going to store something that will be stored as a single piece of information not as a fragmented piece and of course you will get a better performance by your computer now there are certain questions regarding this that uh, uh, I'm talking I was talking about the disk defragmentation line um, the disk that you have on your computer the hard disk fine okay so what about the phones do we have defragmentation in phones and uh, other devices see your phones they use flash memory they do not use hard hdd fine they use flash memory or uh, yeah in the case of flash memory since there are no movable part they that's why if you even if you will defragment you will not get any extra speed so defragmenting in phones is of no use and remember that if you are going to defragment your flash uh, drives or your pen drives that the lifespan of your the lifespan of your devices will decrease because flash drive they have a limited write cycles you can read any number of times without uh, reducing the lifespan of your uh, flash drive but if you will write again and again even if you are writing the same data again and again the, uh, the lifespan of your flash drive will decrease second thing is it is also dependent on file system the file system what kind of file system it is used uh, you, uh, your operating system is using if it is NTFS or uh, uh, FAT or uh, FAT32 then the chances of defragmentation are very high because they have different algorithm to manage uh, the files and this is most in the case of uh, the, uh, they suffer fragmentation a lot but if you are on macintosh computer uh, or apple computer they have different file system maybe ext3 or uh, or there was uh, yeah h Mm, that was HFSD, yeah. 
so there was one more if you're using oh there are another file system sample in the case of macintosh they have very less fragmentation because they use another file system and uh, they uh, in, in those cases hard disk is not divided into chunks but they have different strategy to uh, store files and the chances of fragmentation are quite less so you, you don't need uh, defragmentation as much as you need it on the windows operating system so with that said that was your defragmentation in the next part of the video i'm going to show you how to perform this defragmentation on windows 7 and windows 8 the steps for defragmentation to perform defragmentation in windows 7 all you have to do is just click on the start button and just type disk here and you will find disk uh, defragmenter fine so disk defragmenter uh, that's the utility uh, present in windows 7 okay when you are done you will see it's a disk defragmenter consolidates fragmented files on your computer hard disk to improve the system performance now you get three buttons here one is customized schedule if you click on this uh, you need the administrator password for this if you are the administrator then you can do it uh, easily all you have to do you can uh, choose the frequency that when you uh, see in windows 7 uh, yeah in windows 7 8 and 8, this defragmentation will be performed automatically so this is a place where you can configure your schedule fine so yeah you can make it weekly monthly or daily and you can choose your day time and you can also select which on which drive you want to perform test defragmentation okay next thing is uh, this analyze button analyze button is basically it if you click on analyze button just choose the drive on which you want to perform the analysis and click on uh, analyze it will just give you the percentage that how much your disk is fragmented Once you click on analyze, it will start analyzing and give, it will give you the percentage, uh, the amount of disk that is uh, fragmented. And uh, second thing is once you are done with that, once you are done with the analysis, you got your percentage. All you have to do is just click on defragment disk and it will perform the defragmentation and everything will be done for you. And this is how you do it in Windows 7. Okay, next I'm going to tell you how to perform defragmentation in Windows 8. Uh, just in the search bar, type defragment and uh, defrag and you will see there's this option. Defragment and optimize your drives. Click on this option and you will see in Windows 7 it was called defragmenter, disk defragmenter but in Windows 8 it is called optimized drives. Fine. Uh, everything is same but in this the name is different okay so they here they say you can optimize the drives of your computer and uh, so uh, the first button is first thing is all you have to do is just choose the drive click on the analyze button so that you can see how much it is fragmented as you can see I got it is 5% fragmented and uh, second thing is once once you got the analysis report you can click on optimize button and uh, you can optimize your uh, this uh, yeah you can defragment or you can optimize the drive of your computer and as you can see it's saying the past one zero percent defragmenter it's working and uh, this one is still being analyzed because i clicked that button okay now this last thing is as you can see it is sh uh, schedule optimization now in windows 7 8 and 10 you can schedule your uh, your disk defragmentation operation all you have to do is just choose the day and time when you want to perform it automatically just choose it and when you want to perform it and uh, or you can also choose the drives on which you want to perform this defragmentation and yeah that's it and it's still working it will take time because there's so much data in my c drive right now so i'm just going to close it now so end of the story is uh, defragmentation is basically combining or rearranging the files stored on your data to occupy the contiguous storage location so that you can increase the access speed of your computer. Thanks for watching and goodbye.